out there and welcome to English Teacher Plays. We're here with Snowboarding. That's the whole title of the game and this is the opening uh, screen. There is no music, there's no sound effects so far. Um, and we're gonna, we're gonna play it. Now if you're wondering where my glasses went, uh, I recently had laser eye surgery so now I don't need glasses, which is pretty awesome. I'm pretty excited about it. Uh, okay. Um, uh, v is grab or something. All right, so we're, we're snowboarding. Uh, right, we fell down, but there, yes, I guess we'll retry, I don't, right, uh, we broke our legs, all right, we'll retry, sure, so, hey, we did a little grind, okay, um, once again, there is there is no sound. Our snowboard appears to be a uh, solid plank. I mean, on the plus side, the uh, the controls are not terrible. There we go. We can do a grab, and we landed. And are we gonna have enough oomph to make it to the final thing? Do you want to try the next level? Sure, let's go try the next level. Um, right. All right, so there are there is something keeping score. So we're getting tricks somehow. Um, right. But there's no sound. So if you're listening to music right now, it's because I added it, and I may have even I may have even put something in saying that I that I'm adding some music. Because I do that sometimes. Because it's fun. Oop. Ooh, I died. Right, but that time I had 29,000. Right. I could see some points somewhere. Right. So, this is... Yeah, this is very... Not amazingly fun to play, because there's no sound effects... I feel like with just some sound effects, this game would actually be pretty fun. And considering it was pretty cheap, I think I paid like three bucks for it or something. Um, with some sound effects, like some snow sound effects, I would be totally down. Um, you know, it doesn't look terrible. The controls are fine. Oop, that didn't work. Right. Um, yeah, the controls are fine. It's not like, it's not A plus controls or anything. They're, they're exactly okay. Oh, yeah, and when you grab, um, that's when you fall down. Yep. So I think pretty much you can't fall down as long as you're not trying to grab. Oh, we just stopped. Of course, that's fine. Yeah, so as long as you don't try and do a grab, you can't fall. Which is good. Good to know. Because we're gonna get some more points and we're gonna we're gonna make it to the end of this one because we wanna see the next level as well. Yeah, see, so it it turned us the other way, because we weren't trying to grab. So as long as you don't try and grab. Um, you can just do spins all day and get tons of points. Like that. Yep. Oh, now we're going, we're going a weird way. We're going to go this way, I guess. We're going to go up here and do some wall riding. And up over the lip. Nope, not quite. Yeah, so it's interesting. So often, I think when you when you run into one of these games on Steam, um, and I haven't seen one like this before, it I'm wondering if uh, either Unreal or Unity has started selling an asset pack that uh, gives you all this stuff for free, because that's often what has happened. Is that um, there'll be a they'll or not selling the stuff for free, but there'll be a new sort of asset pack so you can put this stuff. Um, congrats, you made it. You finished all levels. So we played both both levels. Right. So we played we played all the content. Um, and I guess 
The only thing to do there next would be to get better at the content. But now that we know that we can't fall from, uh, as long as we're not trying to do grabs, then we can just do lots of that. But I bet we can fall if we hit the wall. Yeah. <laughs> so we can fall. Oh, it's bouncing. All right. Let's, let's try and go off the track a little bit. Let's see. Let's see if there's a... I mean, it says it's open world. How open world is it? Like, if I go... If I try and get completely off... Woo! There we go. We managed to make it. Let's, let's do our grab. Nice. And... Yeah, we're just... We're just rotating through space because the game did not anticipate someone deliberately trying to get off the thing. And that's the grab. And there's another grab. And there's a slightly different grab. Yeah, okay. Well, all right. So we've actually we've actually glitched the game. We can't we can't I've pressed escape. No, nope, nothing will get us out. So we're just going to exit out of the game. Um, and go look at the description. All right, snowboarding. Snowboard on slopes and on ramps. Perform stunts and get points. Developed by Infinite Bridge and published by Infinite Bridge. Costs $1.49. So the, that's the nicest thing I can say about the game is that it only costs $1.49, which means uh, that $4.49, it works. And I guess I got $1.49's worth of entertainment out of it, but it's just so... There's nothing. There's no music. There's no sound effects. There's no crunch of snow. Um, there's really there's no leaderboards. There's nothing, which I don't know. I don't I don't cruise the Unity Asset Store and I don't cruise the Unreal Engine Asset Store, so I don't know if this is an asset flip. Um, but it has the sort of hallmarks of one, um, where there's just very little done to make the game better quality of life wise I could be totally wrong this could be a totally independent game with these mechanics and they've like done some really good coding of uh, a dude snowboarding because you know he does he does go through the snow and all that kind of stuff but my gut feeling is that's not the case snowboarding is an open world arcade sports game with scores snowboard on the slopes or on special ramps perform tricks and earn points there are two cards to choose from the first set of ramps on which you can perform special tricks, and the second is a large slope on which you can slide at high speed. Cost $1.49. Let's have a look at Infinite Bridge. And it looks like they've made uh, quite a few games. Oh, I, am, I, am I ignoring anything here? Let's have a look at... Um, I like to do it by release date, because then I can see how often they're publishing. So this developer started developing, in, you know, just after Christmas last year. So they got, I guess, Unity for Christmas or something like that. And they made that game and they made that game. And I'm not going to look at all these games because I don't see why I would. Um, yeah, I mean, are they, are they making games? Are they actually making games. I, I don't know if these are made or if they're asset flips because like look the the development schedule so they, they put out a game on the 26th then on the 1st, then on the 7th, then on the 18th, then on the 26th, then on the 17th so their, their development schedule is crazy. They must have like a huge team working on all these games or they're buying assets and just putting them onto Steam um, I don't know which one it is but I have a guess. This one took two days two days to make Circular and then put it on Steam. And then just this month, the month of June, they've made uh, Armored, Infinite Br Brick Breaker, Vortex Rolling, and now Snowboarding. So I think it's probably safe to say that this is an asset flip and I don't have to give it any feedback because um, it literally doesn't matter because my feedback would be, because my feedback would be, uh, you know, learn to make a game instead of just throwing a bunch of crap onto Steam. Like you've spent six months making 20 games or whatever and uh, I think you've got like one or two user reviews so I just I don't see how you'd be making money you're selling them in the right price range for $1.29 um, but Steam Direct costs a hundred bucks to put it on Steam so I guess maybe a hundred people are buying your games but I just don't see how that would be possible 
Um, and that's just to recoup your losses. It doesn't include the cost of the asset packs or anything like that. So, yeah, well, I don't understand what the point of doing this is, but I guess then you can tell people you're a game developer. Maybe, maybe that's uh, more interesting than whatever else you're getting up to. I don't know. So I'm going to leave it there. That's snowboarding. Uh, like and subscribe. Leave me a comment down below. Don't, I mean, the game only costs a dollar 49 New Zealand, so a buck US, but there's probably better things to spend a dollar on. Like you could buy a Twix or something. Um, you could, uh, I don't know, pay for the bus or, uh, I don't know, pay for someone to get on the subway. I don't know. There's lots of things that you could spend that dollar on that would probably be better suited than this buying this game. So uh, I'm going to leave it there and I will see you guys next time. Class dismissed.